yeah, yeah. Um, heat, yeah. The potages had um cat thing was exactly cooked meat, which lowers the reduces because they they can't synthesize any. We can synthesize some. This is why people when they overcook their meat, they're still synthesizing some within their body, and because they're getting more methionine, and if they're young in particular, methionine, cysteine to um taurine, they can still synthesize more. So the more methionine you put into the human body, the more you can synthesize in terms of taurine. And that is why humans don't have the same effect. We've developed, because 1.5 million years ago, we started cooking meats. So we've developed the mechanism to basically produce endogenous taurine from high methionine sources. Not only just, even if you're fasted, you can still from, uh, you know, turnover of aminos in the body, you can still use some of those turned over proteins that are broken down to aminos and you um, through mechanisms that um, turn over collagen in the, you know, you can still use some of those to produce taurine and other things. But when you eat quite a bit of meat, you'll actually upregulate those enzymes and you'll actually produce more taurine. So a, a carnivore, somebody on a carnivore diet will produce more taurine, even with cooked meat. But it may not be optimal because they may ha still have a lot of damage and issues and stuff like that. And that's where they may need more. And traditionally, nobody, no traditional society ever overcooked their meat, one. And two, they also consume some raw sources of meat. You know, so go right through. There's plenty, you know, I mean, um, beef tatar being one, that's raw. And I don't mind a bit of beef tatar. I just tend to basically put a bit of, a bit more. Um, I like it with a bit more um, pepper to be peppery. That's the yeah. way I sort of like it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, my beef tatar. I, I, I find it, I can eat it, but I find it too bland. And I don't, I, I put like... some salt on it, but I prefer the, I prefer the, it's, some love the salt. Some like it bland. Some like it really salty. And others, like me, really like it peppery. Um, I can understand. I, I don't know. I also don't know why I, I don't heritage. do. I don't do this often because I don't really like how I feel afterwards. But I like uh, raw onion as well. Okay. So, yeah. well, well, that's got sulfur as well. Yeah, in it. So, but uh, yeah, look, I, I'm uh, obviously for cats, it's a problem because they can't convert um, those yep. amino precursors into taurine so they have to get it in the actual raw meat if they don't get it in the raw meat and it has to be fresh raw meat and that's the other problem now even fresh, though you yeah. can actually buy meat it's not fresh it's hung up it's lost it's dried out it's lost some of its taurine so it still may not be enough that's why i said to deb um uh, to deborah earlier that maybe you know adding a bit of taurine into the meal of the cat and dog or even in their water where they you know they can consume it through the water you know I, you can do it any any way but there are ways of actually it's easy just putting it in the, in the food um, occasionally and giving yes. them you know half a gram um here or there so they're getting a bit of um and maintaining because that's what we you know when they get injuries and stuff like that i would up their taurine levels and i know that sean basically was giving a whole lot of some of his supplements and then um hearts to the actual um to the cat that had a, mm -hmm. a a hind a hind leg injury um and within a very short amount of time the cat healed yep. you know really healed um, quite fast he was shocked he was surprised because i actually said to him give it a give it a whole um a, 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 and he didn't want to share his taurine you know his powder so he basically just bought it hearts and just fed it hearts and he was shocked how quickly it recovered the cat just basically bounced back to life. You know, it was fine again, you know, back to being a normal pussy. <laughs> Meow. <Yes. laughs> so, 